Hey everybody, welcome to another STC Pod special video presentation unboxing. We're going to unbox the latest Third Man Records vault package. Uh, this is 36. Uh, as you know, it's, um, as since you clicked on the link, it's uh, a Trout Mask Replica by Captain Beefheart. We're going to take a look at it. It's going to be a wild unboxing, just as wild as the record is. Um, so yeah, it came from uh, Nashville, Tennessee, although uh, I do know that this was pressed in their Detroit pressing factory. And uh, it's always interesting to see what kind of value they put on this for customs. Just $10, just $10. Now, if you were subscribed to the vault package, you would have paid uh, quarterly 60 bucks and you would have got this. This is already on eBay. They're selling for around 200 bucks. So let's get into this. Let's get this puppy open right now. Oh. Wait, one second, hold on. There we go. We had to go full Lotus on this so we don't uh, hurt any of the vinyl with my awful fingerprints. Let's go, we're gonna do this proper, museum quality, uh-oh. Technical difficulties. Since when does that ever happen? Again, I always say this with every one of these third man vault openings. I even love their packaging. Yeah, we got the all the details stamped on here. With all the cool sayings and stuff. Yeah. Usually it says something about records on here. Anyways, let's open this up. This package is rammed, to say the least. So there's tons of stuff in here. I guess first off, oh, everything is inside this canvas bag. So this is a reproduction drawing of uh, the album cover. That's pretty cool, nice canvas bag. Let's see what else we got in here. Now there is the album. Now uh, this has been out of print on vinyl for about 10 years. And every one of the uh, uh, repressings they've done. They've just done scans of scans of the original artwork, but they went back in the archive and found the actual original illustration to get the proper scan of it. And here's the list of what's actually in here. You guys can hit the pause button if you want to take a read of everything that's here. And uh, a little history of what happened get this thing going all right let's get this packaging out of here okay so this looks shrink wrapped this, this stuff is never shrink wrapped I'm gonna have to pause for a second and find myself a uh, knife to do this proper here although it's gatefold so doesn't matter if I keep the shrink wrap. All right, here we go. So uh, Captain Beefheart, uh, you probably, you obviously know this is one of uh, Frank Zappa's guys, or uh, Frank Zappa is one of Captain Beefheart guys. They were friends in high school, and they worked together quite a bit, um, fought with each other a lot, and came out with a lot of crazy recordings. Uh, Frank produced this one, and. Uh, it fits along pretty good with uh, any Zappa collector's stuff, as most Beefheart stuff does. Um, it's super avant-garde. This album is crazy wild. It's polytonal. And it's poly uh, time measure. It's multiple everything you can think of. So it's not just the, the musicians playing different time measures at the same time. They're also playing in different keys, as well as uh, Beefheart's crazy vocals, which are rough and ready and haggard and all over the place. It's uh, definitely experimental, and uh, it's avant-garde. It is everything you would expect coming out of the Zappa camp. Well, if you put Captain Beefheart and Frank Zappa together, this is what you're going to get. 
not to say the the side musicians didn't have anything to do with it these guys had to play in these altered time measures and different keys and in none of it wasn't like off the top of their head they rehearsed it to be this way to ha in uh, to have some sort of cohesion despite its uh, chaos it's a crazy thing to listen to a lot of people hold this album in very high regard let's see what we got in the first sleeve here god that looks like a picture of a young bob dylan And here we have the liner notes. Pretty nice. Very bright paper, hard card stock. And uh, here you are right away with uh, disc one of Trout Mask Replica. And uh, you're going to see what Third Man Records did with this. Some pretty crazy colored vinyl on this. Look at that. Let's see if we can shine a light underneath there and get some full effect. Isn't that wild? This is a, they, I think they called this a fish scale uh, color motif. It's pretty cool. It's pretty crazy, just like the album. So, right. <laughs> I can't say yet. I've seen many albums like that. Very cool. Slide this back. Just good thing I went full Lotus Stark with the gloves on here. I don't feel any guilt touching that. Of course, there's probably going to be some record collector that says the uh, latex gloves are actually bad for vinyl. I'm probably hurting it. In the second sleeve, uh, we have uh, a single pulled from this, and I don't believe this was ever repressed. This is the first time the single's been repressed since uh, its original release. And let's take a look at this. Nice inner sleeve. And on white vinyl. God, I love white vinyl. Something about white vinyl looks so clean and perfect. Look at that. Perfect. And we got that. Can we see the back? And this shows the reemergence of Bizarre Records, which I guess they're starting up again. I don't know if that's Third Man Records got involved with that, but from what I heard, that's starting up again. Okay, and here we have a uh, poem that Jack White wrote. I believe this appeared in Mojo Magazine maybe seven years ago, maybe uh, shortly after Captain Beefheart died. I believe he died in 2010. That's a really nice uh, silk screen there. Well, there's his uh, dates on the bottom so yeah 2010 and here you have something fun this is actually a replica trout mask so you can punch that out it's all perforated so for your next Halloween you can uh, wear that on your face and it's of course interesting to uh, note that this isn't actually a trout it's a carp but a carp is a good replica of a trout and on to the second disc again the same wicked cool fish scale um, colored vinyl Oof, look at that that is amazing now when this originally came out I believe in 68 it was a two disc gatefold album as well and if you find that out in the wild I think those are running for around 200 plus if you can get a hold of the original so this, of course, uh, Third Man Records and Jack White have pumped this release out. They got hold of uh, the closest reproduction, um, the original masters from the uh, Zappa vault to make their pressings from. Um, you're not going to find a better uh, repressing at all, I think, for this album. And... Uh, 
so the Zappa family vault, uh, the Zappa family trust was uh, involved in getting this out. A really cool partnership to see Jack White partnering with uh, the Zappa folks. So I'm really interested to see what other kind of wild stuff will be coming out from there. Anyways, that's it. That's everything. Pretty wild. Did we see the back of this? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks again, everybody, for stopping in and checking out this unboxing. Like I tell you every time, check out our podcast. It comes out every week, every Friday. It's called STC Pod, and it's an avant-garde uh, romp of hilarity and mischief, just like this album. Uh, you can find us on iTunes and Google Play and all that goodness. Thanks again, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you.